Chapter 2 Christ, The Privilege of Prayer There are certain conditions upon which we may expect that God will hear and answer our prayers. One of the first of these is that we feel our need of help from Him. He has promised, I will pour water upon him that is thirsty and floods upon the dry ground. Isaiah 44 verse 3 Those who hunger and thirst after righteousness, who long after God, may be sure that they will be filled. The heart must be open to the Spirit's influence or God's blessing cannot be received. Our great need is itself an argument and pleads most eloquently in our behalf. But the Lord is to be sought unto to do these things for us. He says, Ask, and it shall be given you. And he that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Matthew 7 verse 7 and Romans 8 verse 32 If we regard iniquity in our hearts, if we cling to any known sin, the Lord will not hear us, but the prayer of the penitent, contrite soul is always accepted. When all known wrongs are righted, we may believe that God will answer our petitions. Our own merit will never commend us to the favor of God. It is the worthiness of Jesus that will save us, His blood that will cleanse us, yet we have a work to do in complying with the conditions of acceptance. Step to Christ, page 95.